good morning. Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's great to have you all here. So today we're going to be doing some of this. Do you know what it is yet? Yeah? Yeah, we're going to be doing the floss because we have our most floss-tastic adventure this morning. It is fairy floss. And after that, we're going to be doing some wonderful mindfulness and meditation to get you ready for your most awesome weekend. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now, we always start in the same way, and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs, and bringing our hands together at our hearts, and saying our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining our thumbs and fingers together, we have a look through. Ooh, look at the colours! Look at the shapes! The patterns all going round and round. Ooh, can you see it? The picture? It's a fairy! Oh, it's fairy floss! Oh, what's Fairy right. Floss doing? Oh, of course, look, she's doing the floss dance. Lowering our hands all the way down. How exciting. We're off to meet Fairy Floss, a real life fairy. Now, Fairy Floss lives in Pixie Patch, which is home to a community of magical folk who love nature and the simple things in life, mostly dancing. Let's come up to stand without touching our hands on the floor. Ready? Oop. Well done, everyone. Now, Fairy Floss, as you've already guessed, loves one dance in particular, the floss. Let's try it. We take our arms down in front of us and make our hands into fists. Now we count one to the side, two to the other side, and through, front and back. Let's do that again. One to the side, two to the other side, and through, front and back. And again, one, two, through. And again, one, two, through. One, two, through. One, two, through. Yay, we've got the arms. Now let's try the hips. Let's bring our hands onto our waist and our hips go side to side. We can add a little bend of the knee as well to help. Yay! Now we're going to try and put the arms and the hips together. We're going to start slowly and build up speed. Taking our arms down, hands into fists. Now our arms go one way as our hips go the other. Here we go. One, two, through. And again, one, two, through. Yay, here we go. One, two, through. One, two, through. Let's try a little bit faster. Here we go. One, two, through. One, two, through. One, two, through. We're getting it. That's it. We're getting it. Keep going. And we are flossing. Fairy floss to do 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 fairy floss to do 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 fairy floss to do 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 fairy floss. Woohoo! Now every week, Fairy Floss arranges a big dance meetup at the brilliant Bubble Club. The Bubble Club is a place to dance, to laugh, and to drink milkshakes. And it's run by none other than Wonky, who is a worm, coming into our worm pose. We lie down on our tummies and we bring our hands under our shoulders and we wiggle, 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 wiggle all the way up like a worm. Now, Wonky makes a mean milkshake. He's also got his own special dance move known as Wonky's Wiggle. Let's try. We sit back on our heels, then we slide our body through and we wiggle on up like a worm. And again, sit back on our heels, slide our body through and wiggle on up like a worm. Very good, everyone. Now, working alongside Wonky is Des. 
Des is a carrot, a disco carrot. He's also a keen gardener, coming up to stand in our carrot pose. We bring our feet together and our arms down by our side. We go all the way around one way. Yeah! And all the way around the other. Yeah! Now Des has one job at the Bubble Club, and that is to turn on the great big giant glitter ball. That's it! Now every week, Fairy Floss flies all over the neighbourhood like a bird, inviting everyone to the dance meet. Folding all the way forwards, hands come down, we lift and lower our arms as we fly like a bird. She never misses anyone out, even inviting Nicodemia the witch, who can't bear dancing. Rolling up to stand, coming into our witch pose. We stand on one leg, using our toe for a bit of balance. We make our fingers all craggy, lift up our elbows, maybe close one eye, and we stick out our tongue. All this dancing, making everyone feel good. If only there were a way I could make it stop. Fungus, where is my spell book? Fungus is a frog. Coming into our frog pose, we crouch all the way down, take our knees wide, and we use our fingers like little froggy finger pads for balance. Now, Fungus the frog has been servant to Nicodemia since he was a tiny tadpole. He hops all over the cottage looking for the spell book. After three, let's do a hop and a ribbit. Ribbit. One, two, three. Ribbit. And again. One, two, three. Ribbit. I found it, my lady. Just then, Fairy Floss arrives with their invitations for the dance meetup. Coming down onto our knees, Nicodemia opens the door. Taking our leg to the side, our arm up to the sky, we open the door going. She stares at Fairy Floss with her grumpy witch face. What do you want, Fairy? Not put off, Fairy Floss stands and smiles. Coming up to stand. Hello! Just popping round to offer you both an invitation to the dance meet at the Bubble Club tomorrow and to suggest some dance moves that could be fun to try. Nicodemia stares, unimpressed. Fairy Floss continues. Right now, I am loving the bunny bounce. Let's give that a try. You come all the way down, put your hands flat, stay high on your tiptoes and lift up your hips. Then you do a little hop. Ready? One, two, three. Hoppity, hoppity, hop. And again. One, two, three. Hoppity, hoppity, hop. No? OK, well, there's also the uh, washing machine move where you sit on your bottom with your legs crossed, crisscross your fingers, put them behind your head, and then you twist from side to side, saying, wish a wish a wish a wish a wish a wish a woo! wish a wish a wish a wish a wish a wish a woo! No? OK, well, there's also my favourite dance move, the floss. Let's give that a go. You come up to stand, legs a little bit wide. Now your arms go the opposite way to your hips. Here we go. Fairy floss do 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 do. Fairy floss do 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 do. Fairy floss do 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 do. Fairy floss. Nicodemia can't bear any more, and she slams the door in Fairy Floss's face. Coming down onto our knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky, and slam. It's time to put an end to all this dancing once and for all. That night, Nicodemia rides on her broomstick, coming into our broomstick pose. We lie on our tummies, our arms down by our sides. We lift up our chest, lift up our feet, and we fly, going whoosh through the night sky, straight for the bubble club. When she arrives, Nicodemia turns herself magically into a cat, coming into our cat pose. Up onto our hands and knees, we tuck our toes and we arch our back, looking into our tummy. Then we dip our tummy down and we wiggle waggle our tail, saying, Meow! Quietly, she slips in 
through the cat flap. Reaching in with one paw, reaching in with two, reaching in with three paws, reaching in with four. Then she rolls herself back up to her normal witchy self, walking your hands all the way back and rolling up to stand, keeping your knees bent, head to come up last. Then she takes out her wand and she points it straight up at the giant glitter ball. Stepping one foot forward, one foot back, bending into our front knee, stretching our top arm all the way up, making our finger a point like we're holding a wand. Then she incants her spell. She turns and she does it on the other side, turning to face the other way, bending into our front knee, reaching our arm all the way up. She incants her spell again. Now, when they all start dancing and their precious glitter ball begins to spin, they will all turn to stone. <laughs> and with that, she disappears in a puff of smoke, coming all the way down to crouch. After three, big jump and a puff. One, two, three. The next day is the dance meet. The music starts and the dancing begins. It's led by Fairy Floss doing her favourite dance, the floss. Here we go, everyone. Yeah, give it some floss, everyone. She does some bunny bouncing. Ready to hop. Here we go. Hop. And again. Hop. Last time. Hop. Coming all the way up. Washing machine. And a knee cross. Wonky is in the fridge getting the milkshakes ready. So Des climbs the ladder, ready to switch on the glitter ball. Here he goes. Yeah, up I go. Yeah, up I go. Yeah, up I go. Yeah, up I go. He turns to the side, folds his little carrot body in half, and he presses go on the big green go button. Rolling up to stand, the glitter ball begins to spin. Taking our legs wide, arms wide, and we spin. As soon as it does, Nicodemia's spell is activated. Everyone freezes because everyone has turned to stone. Jump your feet together, hold on to your face. Des the disco carrot is horrified. Oh no! And then he spots someone hopping out of the bubble club. <gasps> it's Fungus, the frog, coming into our frog pose, crouching all the way down. Knees come wide, balancing with our froggy fingertips. After three, let's do a hop and a ribbit. One, two, three. Ribbit. And again, one, two, three. Ribbit. Wonky the worm comes out of the fridge and he sees him too. <gasps> Coming into our wonky the worm pose. Lying on our tummies, hands under our shoulders, wiggle, 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 wiggle all the way up. Now we know who's behind this, Des. It was Nicodemia. We've got to find out how to break the spell. And so Wonky and Des go to Nicodemia's cottage. Coming to sit on our heels. When they arrive, Wonky and Des peep in through the window using their cosmonoculars, joining our thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. <gasps> there she is, lying on the couch. Coming to lie down, everyone. Legs wide, arms wide. She's asleep and she's snoring loudly, like a witch. <laughs> <laughs> In the corner, in his frog basket, is Fungus, the frog. He's also lying asleep, but with his legs in the air. 
lifting our legs up, holding onto the soles of our feet. He's also snoring loudly, but like a frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Des keeps a lookout and does a bit of weeding in the garden while Wonky wiggles inside bravely. Coming onto our tummies, everyone. Hands under our shoulders. Let's wiggle in. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. He finds Nicodemia's spell book coming into our book pose, sitting on our bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands on our knees. The book is still open, lowering our knees down to the side. The page is titled, How to Stop Dancing. Wonky reads down the spell and at the bottom is a note that says how to break this spell. It reads, find as many people not under the spell to dance, dance, dance until they hear a bell. When the spell is broken, a new curse shall begin for the one who cast it to forever dance like a chicken. Chicken. It says chicken. So, so this means when the spell is broken, Nicodemia will forever dance like a chicken. Well, that is something. Wonky quietly, silently wiggles out, trying not to disturb Nicodemia and Fungus. Coming back onto our tummies, hands under our shoulders, Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Back at the bubble club, Wonky and Des start phoning round everyone they know. Sitting on our bottoms, with our legs out long in front of us, they pick up the telephone, lifting up one of our feet and dialing the number. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. Oh, hi, Bob. Yeah, it's Wonky and Des here from the bubble club. How are you? Oh, good. How are all the gnomes? Yeah, they're all OK. Excellent. Look, we've got a favour to ask. Would you mind gathering as many gnomes as you can? Yeah, all your gnome friends. Bring them to the bubble club because we need you to dance. Yeah, we've got to break this spell. Nicodemia, she's turned everyone to stone. I know, it's awful. Oh, you'll come? Yeah? And you'll bring them all? Oh, brilliant. You're a star, Bob. We'll see you in a minute. OK, bye. They put the phone down and the next thing we know... The telephone is ringing. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer it. We pick up the phone. Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Wonky. Hi, Des. Yeah, we heard all about it. Dreadful business. Nicodemia turning everyone to stone. Awful. Yeah, we can do that. We can come to the Bubble Club. Yeah, we can dance. Yeah, Cosmic Kids are awesome at dancing. Easy. Yeah, OK, we'll be there in a minute. All right, Wonky, bye. Oh, yeah, yeah, love you too, Des. OK, bye. Bye. We put the phone down and we get ourselves down to the Bubble Club. Coming up to stand, everyone. When we get there, the place is packed full of people and thousands of gnomes. It's time to unfreeze our frozen friends and start the dancing. Wonky cues the music and the dancing begins. We dance in slow motion, starting with a slow motion floss dance. Are we ready? Arms down, opposite way with arms and hips. Here we go, ready? washing machine. Slow-mo knee cross. Slow-mo bunny bounce.
Did you hear it? Yes, we heard the bell. It's worked. Everyone who was frozen is dancing again. Fairy Floss comes running over and she gives us a ginormous hug, reaching our arms wide, wrapping us up. Oh, you've done it, Cosmic Kids. You saved us with a dance. All of a sudden, there is a puff of green smoke coming all the way down to Crouch. After three, let's do a big jump and a puff. One, two, three. <laughs> Appearing before us in the mist is Nicodemia, the witch, coming up to stand in our witch pose onto one leg. Craggy fingers lifting our elbows, closing our eye and sticking out our tongue. Oh. Everyone stops as still as mountains to stare, standing with our feet hip distance apart, arms down by our sides, shocked to see her here for the first time. But as the music starts again, Nicodemia begins to dance unlike anyone could ever have imagined. Just like a chicken. She puts her hands on her hips and she clucks her wings. She jigs her head forward and back. She even makes a comb on her head and a little tail feather with her hand and she kicks her legs up high to the side. Nicodemia is having fun. She is loving the dance. And so is everyone else as we all join in dancing together. As we look around, we take a moment to step back and we take this moment to lie ourselves all the way down on the ground. We stretch our legs long and our arms long and we let our bodies rest, allowing our breath to come back to normal. Wow. It's amazing just to notice how you feel in your body after you've been dancing. You feel so alive, so strong, so free. Dancing is like a magic power that can transform the way you feel. Whenever you feel sad or worried or cold, if you dance, you transform your body. You make yourself feel good. It's a powerful thing like that. And when we dance together, when we dance with others, something very special happens. We create an amazing bond, a bond of trust, a connection. And when we trust those around us enough to dance freely, when we feel that safe, we are stronger than ever. We are open, we are free. We are able to learn and ready to listen, ready to receive. Dance whenever you can. And when you get a moment to share dance with someone else, do it. You will only grow. Slowly now we begin to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes. We hug our knees into our chest, giving them a nice big squeeze. And then we roll onto our side, opening our eyes to press ourselves up to sit. We cross our legs and we bring our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done everyone. That was amazing. You were brilliant at dancing. Thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed the Fairy Floss adventure and I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye.
Well done, everyone. That was brilliant. Now I have a Zen Den for you called Thought Bubbles. And this is all about how thoughts work in our mind and how they connect to our feelings. I hope you find it very, very useful. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we bring our hands to our knees and take a big deep breath. Now, let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. Let's have some sounds. Oh yes! Lots of great sounds to choose from. Let's pick a couple that help us feel relaxed. A gentle stream. And a long note on a violin. Now for a smell. Oh, these look interesting. Oh, chocolate smell. Mm. Log smell. Ooh. Oh, yes. Let's smell the rosemary. Rosemary is a lovely herb and it helps our memory work well. Now we're feeling all calm and relaxed. We're ready to learn about our thoughts. Now, hmm, what is a thought exactly? Oh, look, bubbles. Aha! A good way to think about thoughts is with bubbles. Let's imagine these bubbles are our thoughts. They pop up in your brain. And sometimes there can be quite a few, all at once. Some of them are idea-like. I know, let's bake cookies. Some are memory-like. I remember when we went to the beach. Some are picture-like. Some are song-like. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Some are opinion-like. My favourite colour is purple. They don't hang around for long either. After a while they go pop to make room for new thoughts. The funny thing about thoughts is they join up to our feelings. So some thoughts make us feel happy. My friend is coming for a sleepover tomorrow. Some thoughts make us worry. My math homework is really hard and I don't know if I can do it. Some thoughts even make us laugh. How do you tease a piece of fruit? Banana na na na. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn. Let's have a look at some of your thoughts. When I ask you a question, just notice what thought pops into your head. There's no need to say it, just have the thought. It may also have a picture with it too. Ready? Take a deep breath and clear all your thoughts away to make your head feel clear. <sighs> Here we go. What is your favourite colour? What is your favourite food? What is your favourite fruit? What makes you really happy? What do you worry about? Do you notice how busy your brain gets when you have all these thoughts bouncing around? Remember, 
you can always choose which thoughts to believe and which ones aren't helping you. Whatever happens, know that they always do pass, pop or fade away. Often thoughts have a funny habit of popping up when you really don't need them. Like bedtime. It's good to know what thoughts are so we can sort them out when our heads feel really busy and too full. The secret to helping ourselves when this happens is super easy. It's breathing. Yes, it's simple, isn't it? And I know that you are already a master of breathing. So, when thoughts are bubbling over, find a place to be comfy and still. Spend a few moments just breathing. Think in through my nose and out through my mouth. And if you need something to think as you breathe, try this. Breathe in, think one. Breathe out, think two. After that, your thoughts will settle down. I hope that helps you know your thoughts a little better. So you can watch out for them and pick the ones that are most helpful to you. Keep up the practice to become a true Cosmic Kid Zen Den Master. Bye-bye! You were great! Well done, you! Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe Flamingo pose. Reaching up with one of your arms to make a lovely tall flamingo's neck. Now holding onto your foot, trying not to wobble, and drawing your foot towards your bottom to get a nice stretch. Now let's be proud flamingos and do a little hop. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop! Very good, everyone. Now flamingo pose is very good for practicing your balance and for getting a nice big stretch in your quads, which are the big muscles in the front of your thighs. Let's try it on the other side. Bringing your foot down, reach up with the other arm. Now hold onto your foot, drawing it in towards your bottom and let's do a little hop again. Ready? Whoop! Very good! Oh, hello! Oh, you make this standing on one leg thing look easy. Oh, well, that's just showing off. Flamingo pose. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Butterfly pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and joining the soles of our feet together, using our hands to snuggle them in a little bit more. Now we lift and lower our knees like there are butterflies' wings fluttering around. Now butterfly pose is very good for opening our hips and stretching our inner thighs. It's also good for jiggling our insides around a bit to get everything moving, which is always a good thing. Now the other great thing about butterfly is we get to see what colour wings we've got by lifting up our leg nice and straight and having a look. Let's do it after three. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Wow! We've got blue and yellow and pink. Oh, it's beautiful. Lowering it all the way back down. Let's have a look on the other side. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, green and purple and orange. Oh, well, wow, this is amazing. Lowering it all the way back down. Now, here comes the really challenging one. Can we lift up both wings together? Ready? This is a good test of our balance. Oh, after three. One, two, three. Ooh, wow, all the colors. 
colours of the rainbow. Goodness me, it's gone butterfly bonkers in here. Ah! Butterfly pose. Happy baby pose. Coming down to lie on our backs with our legs up in the air. We reach round to grab our feet, drawing our knees in towards our armpits. Now, we try and keep our backs nice and long. Ah, happy baby pose is really good for giving us a lovely back massage. It also opens our hips. Wonderful pose, very calming. Oh, looks like we've made this baby very happy. Happy baby pose. <laughs> well done, that was great. Now we have a lovely Peace Out for you. Peace Out is our guided relaxation series and it really helps your brain and your body totally calm and chill out. It's very, very good for you and I hope you feel wonderful afterwards. Peace Out. Moon and stars. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to explore the special space in our minds called our imagination. Yes. First, let's get comfy. Choose where you want to be. Lying down or just sit. You decide what feels good and then get settled. This piece out is pretty good for listening to if you're lying on a bed. So if you can, try it lying on a bed. Any last wriggles? OK, have a good wriggle. Go on. Let's get them done and we'll be much happier. That's it. Now you're really ready. Keep your eyes open and take some big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. See if you can take just one more big breath and do this last one as slowly as you can. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Wow! You really did make it a slow one. That was amazing. The next time you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. Well done. Let your breathing be normal again. And let's see about making our body super relaxed. Letting go of any holding or scrunching and becoming as soft as a marshmallow. Really squashy and soft. Lovely. Now you're relaxed, you can enjoy letting your mind 
take you on an amazing adventure. As you listen, the pictures will just appear, like you're having a fun dream. And if you can't see anything in your mind right away, don't worry. Just breathe, relax even more, and keep listening. After a while, you'll find it's all happening without you even having to try. Let's go. Imagine you are lying in your bed. Maybe you really are lying in it. But if you're not, see if you can pretend. It's very comfy and warm snuggled beneath the covers. It's night time and everything is so still. But it's not completely dark. The moon is big and full and bright in the sky. And silver moonlight shines into your bedroom through the window. Magic moonbeams down onto your bed. You are looking at the moon. You can see so much on its surface. Different shades and patches of white and grey. They must be the craters, you think. Doesn't seem so far away right now, as you can see it so clearly. Now you notice the stars too, scattered all around in the night sky. They look like they're twinkling, little sparkly dots, jiggling ever so slightly. The more you look, the more stars seem to appear. It's like they are being turned on just for you. The night really is amazing. And tonight you see the dark as something you can enjoy rather than be afraid of. There are so many stars now. It feels like they are shining just for you. In your mind, you take a big crayon and start to join up the stars, like a giant dot-to-dot -dot puzzle. What shapes do they make? Is it an animal? A unicorn? A house? Or something else, maybe? Joining the stars together like this, you are making your own special sparkly star pictures. The night sky feels like it belongs to you. And the moon beams brightly, smiling down at you. You feel so very tired now and ready to drift off for a good rest. The beautiful starry night sky above you will always be here, even when you can't see it for the clouds. Know that the sparkling stars are always there, and the moon too, beaming down, sometimes full and round, other times only half full, or just a little curve, like a banana. Thinking about the night like this somehow makes sleep time extra special. The night sky is your friend. If it's time to sleep now, then peace out and good night.
you can press stop and enjoy your sleep now. If it isn't quite sleep time yet, then take a second now to feel your body again, where you are sitting or lying. Notice where it touches the floor, the bed or the chair underneath you. Notice the weight of your hands and arms. Can you hear any sounds around you? As you come back to the space around you, take a big deep breath in and sigh out of your mouth. Have a lovely big stretch and nice and gently open your eyes. Take a second just to notice how you feel after that and be happy that you have given your body and mind this lovely time. Well done you. This is Jamie saying peace out.